Sup, sup, flappers. Welcome back. We're here on YouTube. So, um, here's the thing, right? If you guys are playing in Asia, Europe, um, China, Korea, Japan, I believe, anywhere but NA, apparently, the new abyss is here. And what can I say? It seems like Mahoyo can read our minds, right? We want to skip Kokomi. A lot of people are skipping Kokomi. A lot of people are anticipating great rerun banners are coming in the near future. People are excited for Toma as well. As Goro, maybe. Who knows when Goro's coming. But here's the thing. Mahoyo's not making it easy to skip Kokomi. And it's not for reasons due to her PR, her cuteness, you know, her waifu material. But it's the Abyss, right? The Abyss is easy if I just say for people who are not in NA, you guys already know about the new Corrosion effect. Now, what is corrosion? For people who don't check the abyss, I just found out recently through chat and I had to go do some research on it. And apparently, this is a team debuff for every enemy you kill and it's applied on floor 11. Why is it always floor 11? Why? 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 Like, why, Mahoyo? Uh, it's always floor 11 with these BS gimmicks <laughs> that, that <laughs> makes you question why, you, why you're even challenging this. Why you're putting yourself through <laughs> this hardship. So what Corrosion is, it's a team debuff where if you kill an enemy unit for the next 10 seconds, you will have a team debuff where all your units are going to be losing health at the same time, at the same rate. Percentage-wise, it doesn't matter if your character has 50,000 health or has 5,000 health. It's percentage-based. They're all going to be losing health at the same rate. Now, that begs the question, is Mahoyo essentially giving you an ultimatum? Is this doable without a healer? Now, we're going to be answering all this in the video. We're going to go through it. I'm going to give you my thoughts. Is it finally time for a healer meta? Is that the question that we're asking here? Is that the direction Mahoyo is trying to push us towards? Let's start with Kokomi's relevance to this entire situation. Now, as you can see, I have Barbara on screen. Why do I have Barbara on screen? It's because currently there are healers that are available to us that can get the job done, like quote unquote done. I wouldn't say Barbara is the most effective at this, and same goes for another character we have, which is Chi Chi. So Barbara and Chi Chi are currently um, very scrutinized units. They're Barbara, not so much because she is a beginner-friendly unit. She is a character that everybody gets to play for free. It's, she's just like a character you use in the meantime to get to better characters. The main difference between a character like Chi Chi and other healers, better healers, such as Bennett or Jean, is the amount of field time they take. Now, if you remember back to when I was talking about the debuff, this debuff is applied to all four of your teammates. You cannot cleanse this. So immediately, Chi Chi gets put into the same playing field as Jean and uh, Diona. And I don't know if Bennett cleanses. I don't think Bennett cleanses. Jean and Diona, right? From what I see, you cannot cleanse this debuff. So that levels the playing field a little bit. But it also, at the same time, brings up a new issue, which is that when you are on field, the character that is on field is the one taking the most risk. Because the corrosion buff cannot kill you. It'll bring you down to 15% of your total health, but it cannot kill you. This world shall know pain. At the end of the day, you're still having to kill these enemies. You're still having to outlast these enemies. And for every single enemy you kill, the corrosion buff is reapplied and they all have individual timers. This is the real, like this is the biggest kick in the nut. Mahoyo is making it so that it might as well just be a 100% uptime debuff. Unless you're gonna kill an enemy, wait 12 seconds, heal up, right? In Like after 10 seconds, you're gonna spend an extra two, three seconds, heal your whole team up, kill it. It's not realistic. They all have individual timers. Another good way is if you kill all the enemies at the same time. So my understanding of this is a workaround would be to use Venti, group all the mobs together and kill them at the same time and the timers all start at the same time. You may be able to get around it. But yes, Mahoyo is heavily, heavily pushing for a healer meta. Now, does that make Kokomi necessary? Not necessarily. Jean, 
like I said, Diona, like I said, Bennett, like I said, even Chi Chi, Barbara, to a certain extent, can all circumvent this situation. Granted, you need two out of the five healers that I mentioned to make it through the abyss. And let me tell you, you can't really get through this very easily without having to power up some of these characters. You want to get them likely to Ascension 4, level 70, if not Ascension 5, level 80, if you can, because it's... Yes, like I said before, health percentage doesn't matter. You all get ticked down to 15%, but you want to be able to have room for error. When you swap these healers onto the field, either A, you have a powerful shielder with a shield running so they don't get hit. You need to buy time for them to use their abilities. It's easier for characters like Bennett, for Jean, right? Uh, even to a certain extent, Diona, because she is her own shielder. But for characters like Chi Chi and Barbara, they run the risk of literally getting one clap, one hand back clap to the face when they get onto the field that is the situation we're in right now yes you could say it's a healer's meta but at the same time it's not as brain dead as you just throw them into your team and they can get the job done let me tell you right now there will be characters who can play through this iteration of abyss with no healers i mean with just xing chu on the team for uh healing it's possible with the right mechanics you can definitely bypass this mechanic but let me tell you 99 percent of the people watching this video right now is going to get their ass cheeks clapped into four different pieces by this mechanic and yes they're going to be thinking damn do i really need to build up my healers in a way yes it's safe to assume this iteration of the abyss is going to be demanding healers so people are saying as well it does kill the character that's on field but it doesn't kill the characters who are not on field which makes it even worse if you're bringing out your chi chi onto the field chances are you're gonna just die in like two three seconds if you are not fast with it and let me tell you chi chi's burst skill i don't know yes it iframes but does it iframe the corrosion damage there's another question you guys need to answer for yourself i have not got this to test i want to go in and test this but i can't these are questions i have does your burst iframe bypass the mechanics of it taking down and killing you because not only Chi Chi has to use her burst skill, she also has to get close and personal to attack the enemies. So this is definitely not an abyss iteration made for Chi Chi. For Kokomi, maybe. She's ranged, right? DPS Barbara, Giga Chad, maybe. But right now, Chi Chi just doesn't look like she's in a good place. If you guys are wondering right now if your Chi Chi is going to be working here, very, very difficult. I think even Barbara can work better than Chi Chi. Just the fact that Chi Chi not only demands to be on field and to, I mean, she can apply marks and get off the field, but then she only heals a character who's on field and the rest of your team doesn't get healed unless you cycle through every single one of your off field characters into them to get healed. But while you're healing this one character, everyone else is still dying again. It's counterintuitive. Chi Chi doesn't work nearly as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing how Kokomi is going to do in this iteration of the Abyss. I'm going to be pulling for Kokomi. And for people who do have Kokomi, I would like to think it's going to benefit you somewhat. But really, Mahoyo has played their cards. They have showed their hands. How are you guys dealing with this iteration of the Abyss? Please comment below. Chat's here right now. A lot of people already told me they are suffering. This is the worst Abyss they've ever had to deal with. It's so frustrating, especially for most people who either don't have their healers built up too well or are straight up skipping Kokomi or they don't care about healers to begin with. Well, what happens when Mahoyo forces you to care? Trust me, going forward, this corrosion mechanic is going to appear not only in the Abyss, maybe in future events as well. It's going to start creeping into different aspects of the game. What if when Sumeru comes out, there's going to be an area where corrosion is just natural. You just end up walking into corrosion valley. What are you going to do then? It's new mechanics like this that Mahoyo are testing in these momentary temporal environments. But eventually, they're going to bring it into the rest of the game. Get used to this. This could be the reason why healers get back into the meta. With that said, thank you guys for watching. I'm excited to try out this abyss. I'm probably going to get my ass cheeks clapped as well, just like I said you guys would, but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing, all right? I love the direction that Mahoyo is taking this. I might not enjoy the journey as much, but we'll all get used to it. We'll all got, we'll, we will all get by this just fine, I promise. Until next time, stay safe and peace, peace. And thank you, Chad, for letting me know about this so we can talk about this today. But oh man, uh, <laughs> that's exciting stuff. That's exciting. Some people are saying they want to get their cheeks clapped.
fine by me. <laughs> peace, peace. Bye.